This video was brought to you in part by the supporters of the AMTV Patreon. Thank you. Hi there everyone, it's Adam Martin here, and this is a sort of different video to what I normally do. I get asked a lot recently about my Big Finish collection, which you can see here. Now, this is not all of it, the camera's only taking in one aspect of it, but let's just say it has grown quite a lot over the last six months. I've always been aware of Big Finish for as long as I've been a Whovian, so for about 15 years, but when I was a kid I never really had the disposable income, nor I suppose the furthered interest to get into expanded media in the realm of audio drama. But lockdown 2020 changed that dramatically, and I think it's fair to say, uh, I got a little bit hooked. But when I've shown off my collection so far, or some of the hauls I've done, one of the most common questions I get is, Adam, how on earth have you managed to amass so much in such a short space of time? And I think the answer to that is through methods of different tips or tricks or hints that I can try and pass on to help you collect Big Finish if you're wanting to get started or if you're wanting to boost your collection. So without further ado, let's get into it, shall we? I suppose I'll start with methods on how you can collect Big Finish from Big Finish themselves, from their website. I do this because they are still, you know, they're a small company and every sale helps them a ton. So probably the easiest and most simple way to collect Big Finish now if you want the easiest route is to go download only. Download only means you know you're saving these to your phone, your computer as, uh, as files as opposed to collecting them physically on CD. I know a lot of people want to collect physically on CD, I mean why wouldn't you, they're gorgeous. But I do understand whether it's for cost reasons or for spacing, going download only is the much preferred option. And you can do that for Big Finish on M nearly like 95% of their ranges. We'll focus on Doctor Who specifically, but I mean, if you want to grab fan favorite titles such as this one, Master, which is one of my favorites from the first 50, you can by downloading it off the website for only £2.99. In fact, if you go on the Big Finish website, titles 1 to 100 in the main range are all available to download for £2.99, which is a great steal and it's a great way to listen to a lot of early Big Finish work. Going beyond that, prices do vary. I think most downloads now, especially of the main range, are about £12.99. So that's what you're going to be paying if you're paying for Big Finish. In terms of box sets, it's a little bit more. It can be anything from, say, £19.99, going upwards to £24.99, £29.99. It really depends on the range and the box set. Although what I will say is keep an eye out for the sales. Every week they have a page, a weekly deals page, and as it implies, every week a different range or a different set of titles will go on sale. And that's how I've been able to get um, some of the most acclaimed box sets for a cheaper price. I got the Dark Eyes set this way, Doom Coalition, the first four volumes of The War Master. I got lots of great box sets from these weekly deals. So check back every Monday there and you will find a good deal. Another good method you can do is pre-order things. This is obviously limited to things coming out. It doesn't obviously go for things that are out, but Big Finish uh, do take money for pre-orders straight away, but that does often help either fund the next set along or a different box set entirely, or even help finish the production of the set you're pre-ordering. So pre-orders are really, really crucial for Big Finish. And the bonus is when you pre-order, whether it's download or CD, it will be cheaper then than it will be sometime after release as the prices go up. So, you know, for new things, so at the time of recording, it's late February, so March, there's a second volume of Stranded that's coming out. I know there's another first Doctor Adventures set on the way, the Master set with Eric Roberts. All of those you can pre-order right now and save a couple of quid whilst doing it. But say you've exhausted the Big Finish website and you want to turn to other means, or for, say, for example, you want to get the first 100 titles of the main range on CD. You can't do that anymore on the website. So, what do you do and how do you do it?
Secondhand sites are nothing new when collecting. We've all used eBay for decades and recently things like Facebook Marketplace have come about to further help us in our search. I'll actually start with Facebook Marketplace because that's been a surprising one for me. Facebook Marketplace, for those who don't know, is basically like a car boot sale gone online. I find it really useful. You can find all sorts of stuff in there and it's where I was able to find quite a fair few of my uh, Big Finish collectibles. If you haven't seen it, check out this video, which was a Big Finish box set haul I did. I can't, I think it was like 12 or 13. I got 12 or 13 box sets for a really, really good price from Facebook Marketplace. Also, don't be afraid to negotiate. If someone say is selling Dark Eyes 1 to 4 on CD for 60 pounds for the four different box sets, don't be afraid to say, hey, would you mind doing that for 50 or something like that? A case in point would be the War Doctor sets with John Hurt. I saw that on Facebook Marketplace and I think it was listed for £50. I shot a message to the guy and said, hey, would you be willing to do this for £40 instead? And he said yes. So people are always willing to negotiate. I know sometimes when you're in person, like at real car boot sales, it can be a bit scary or nerve-wracking to approach someone and say, hey, can you sell me this thing you're, you're selling for cheaper? But online, you know, just have that bit of confidence because most people on Facebook Marketplace are selling this stuff just because they want rid of it and they want rid of it ASAP. So often they will be willing to sort of take that dip just to get the sale. Also, watch how you search on Facebook Marketplace. I find key things help. So with Big Finish, there's three I always do. I type in Doctor Who Big Finish, I'll type in Doctor Who CD, and I'll type in Doctor Who Audio or Audiobook. That might sound weird, but I've seen, you know, I've seen things pop up like the War Doctor stuff that I got. I got that because I typed in Doctor Who CD. Typing in Doctor Who Big Finish did not bring those sets up, no matter how far I scrolled. It must be something to do with Facebook's search algorithms, but just be try different search varieties. You know, even be if you want to be specific, try, you know, like a Doctor Who War Doctor. It might not produce a successful result, but again, you never know. Also, don't be afraid to ask for postage. Some listings will say, yeah, we're selling these, but we only want to do collection only which is fine and of course in the pandemic world collecting going further afield is not allowed of course it's illegal to travel far unless it's for essential purposes and let's face it as much as we think it is this ain't essential you might not be able to see it in the background but i got the 10th doctor sets in the limited edition taller boxes they were facebook marketplace and they said collection only but i messaged the seller and said hey uh, would you be willing to do postage i'll pay an extra few pounds for that postage and they said yes. So if you see collection only, don't be put off instantly. Again, don't be afraid to message people and ask for postage. If they say no, fair enough. But if they say yes, then you win in there, aren't you? And just as an example of some of the great stuff you can find on Facebook Marketplace, I think my favourite big finish find so far has got to be this, the Legacy of Time. This was released to commemorate 20 years of Doctor Who on Big Finish. And they released it in this limited edition, really tall box. It's eight discs, there's six different stories, and there was only 4,000 of these printed. And, you know, uh, it recently ran out of stock on the Big Finish website, so again, you turn in second hand. On eBay, I think I didn't see this for any less than like £50 when I last had a look, but someone was selling this on Facebook Marketplace for the grand total of £15. Yeah, dirt cheap. And I got very lucky because I'd searched and it had only been listed one day ago. So if I'd have been a bit, if I'd have slacked, then I might not have got it. So just check every couple days, put in those search terms again, because you never know what might pop up. The next main site that I use, of course, is eBay. eBay doesn't really need any introduction. It's been used for the nearly the past two, two and a half decades. It's a great place to find things, big finish included. The way I try and go with eBay is to get lots. I try and stay away from buying individual Big Finish titles because I feel from a cost effective point of view, if you buy individually, you're probably going to end up spending more money in the long run. So lots are definitely your way to go. Sometimes they are advertised as lots, you know, it'll say Big Finish, like here's 10 CDs for X price. And again, I'd, if it's a buy it now or if it's an auction with no bids, I'd again recommend messaging the seller and just shooting an offer. It never, the worst they can do again is either ignore you or say no. There is literally no harm in asking. However, sometimes they're not always in lots, and this is the method I think I've done the most frequently. Say I see a title like Terra Firma, and I'm like, oh, I need Terra Firma in my Big Finish CD collection, but I don't just want to buy Terra Firma on its own. Let's see what else they've got. What I then do is go on the user's profile and see what other items they've got for sale. And what you find is when someone's selling Big Finish titles individually, 
it's often more than just the one that you've initially seen. So go on their profile, see what they're selling and look at the other titles and then do what I do and make a list. You know, if there's say, if they're selling 30 CDs and there's 12 titles that you want, make a list of those titles. And then again, send a message to that seller. Be like, hey, I'm interested in buying these. Would you consider a offer for a quick sale? And um, but don't list them yet. Just see bridge that bridge that option. A lot of the times they'll come back and say, yes, what are you interested in? Then send your list over and send what you want to offer them. I try and price it, if I can, best case scenario, I'll try and value each CD for maybe between six, seven or eight pounds, breaking it down. So say if there's 20 titles I'm after specifically, I might be a bit cheeky at first and say, hey, would you want to do these for, I don't know, 120 pounds. So that's six pound per CD. If they don't mind that and they want to sell it, they'll be like, yeah, cool. And then you've saved a lot of money rather than paying, I don't know, eight pounds plus postage each time. But sometimes, you know, a lot of people do understand their worth and they'll say, actually, no, I don't want to sell it at that much of a loss. I'll sell it to you for this instead. They often reply with a counter offer, which is still saving you money. But then it's up to you to decide, is that saving enough money for what you wanted to pay? Always be, I'd say, always go in when you're looking at things with a set price you want to pay. And if the offer that the seller brings back to you exceeds that price, then it's probably not worth doing. And I know shooting prices like, oh, I'll give you 100, 120 pounds for CDs might sound a bit expensive in the short term however I, again i would argue in the long term you are actually saving money i did a recent uh, big finish haul where i managed to get a good deal on several of the early titles of the main range and like looking at the prices they were going for individually on ebay comparing to what i paid for i easily saved about between 100 and 150 pounds at least at least one method i forgot as well is going back to Facebook for a moment is to join groups. I'm part of a big Finnish, uh, you know, group thing on Facebook. And every now and then people will post some of their collections saying, hey, I'm selling this off and, you know, let me know if you're interested. And again, be willing to barter with them. So there was one recently where I was able to get uh, the Further Adventures of Lucy Miller, uh, the War Master Volume 5 and the first volume of Ravenous, which I, I didn't have. And if you buy all of those now individually on CD from the Big Finish website, I think it would cost you close to £100 for the three of them. I was able to get them for about £30 to £40, so again, saving a lot of money. So I'd absolutely recommend joining groups like that on Facebook or the social media platforms that allow people to sell. So those are all the main routes and, and tips and tricks I, I have at the minute, really. I guess the final thing to say as well, I think I've touched on, it is also a bit of luck. You know, um, copies of Legacy of Time don't just spring up every day on Facebook Marketplace or eBay for that good of a price that I got it. It is a bit of luck. There are some days where you will search for deals and there will be next to nothing or nothing that's saving you money. Or some days you'll go on and there'll be loads of stuff and you'll have to pick and choose which deals you want to go for. But again, I think that's part of the thrill of the hunt, if you like. It's part of the thrill of collecting, gathering it all along the way. Just be be savvy with your money. And again, I think probably the most important thing is don't be afraid to reach out and, and barter with people. You know, if you see a four, a four box set collection of Dark Eyes or Ravenous or Doom Coalition or anything like that, and you know you think you could maybe shave 10 pounds off it don't be afraid to say it because again most people are just looking to get rid of this stuff and they will cut you a good deal by the same token i don't want to sound like i'm like don't buy from big finish they swindle you because they don't again they're a small company i'm all i buy i do buy a lot of stuff from big finish directly uh, pre-ordering again as i mentioned is a great way to help support them and also get the the content as soon as it comes out as well whether that is cd or on download also keep an eye on those weekly deals and bundles. I did forget to mention bundles. For certain box sets or titles, you'll see the bundles icon. Click on that and you can often, you know, you can save some money, CD or download, whichever you want to go for. But yeah, bundles and those weekly deals. Keep an eye on those sections. I'd also recommend following Big Finish on Twitter because sometimes they announce uh, flash sales that I see via Twitter that then I've capitalized on. So give Big Finish a follow as well if you're interested in seizing on those deals. But yeah, I think that'll do it for now for this tips and tricks video. Thank you very much for watching and please let me know if you enjoyed it. I'd love to hear your feedback on it. Uh, have you used some of these before for yourself? Have they worked for you? I found they've worked for me and I hope uh, they, they will work for you too at some point in the future as you collect some more big finish. If you did enjoy the video, please remember to leave a like on it. Likes really do help out with the channel and your comments as well. As I said, let me know what big finish you collect and how these tips and tricks might have helped you or if you've got any tricks 
yourself. And please do subscribe to the channel. Please stick around. We've got more Doctor Who content coming, big finish content, all sorts of content, really. You know, you can check the past of the channel. There's loads of stuff out there and there's loads of stuff coming. And it would be a pleasure to have you aboard. I've been Adam Martin from AMTV and I will see you next time.